Robots are already indistinguishable from humans. Hell, if you want, you can order your own doppelganger made out of iron and special skin that allows robots to completely mimic your facial expressions. Send it to the office or university as yourself. Sit it at home with your relatives and they won't immediately notice the difference. That's what EX Robots is showcasing this year, which for several years now has been creating lookalikes of great scientists and producing robots for service and entertainment industries. And what a marvel this is. Meet King Long, the first full-size electric humanoid robot. He'd even performed at the conference, taking the stage among real speakers. This open source robot developed by Humanoid Robots Limited is capable of incredible tricks. It can walk fast, avoid obstacles, and even withstand impact. With 43 degrees of freedom and 400 tera operations per second, or tops, King Long promises to be a real helper. But that's not all. The developers are launching a community-building website where enthusiasts can train the robot for new tasks. And here's the kicker. The company plans to release new robots every year. By 2027, they're going to train an entire army of like a thousand robots. So subscribe to our channel and we'll keep you updated on where that's going. Also making a lot of noise at the show was the company Unitree, which in addition to fun and catchy robot dogs, brought the real start of the show, the G1 Humanoid. This is the most affordable humanoid robot in the world. It's 16,000 bucks, which is peanuts for a machine like this. That said, G1 is amazingly flexible, stable, and agile. Its powerful arms are capable of very precise movements. Unitree's robot dogs were up to speed as well. They showed off their tricks, surprising the audience with something new every time. Next up, Walker from UbiTech. Do you know what makes it unique? This little guy and his brothers are already working in a bunch of car factories. Yes, you heard it right. They're performing real tasks on the conveyor belt. So whenever you hear someone talking about robots replacing humans, it's completely justified. Some of our jobs have already gone to these robots, which don't get tired and don't get sick. UbiTech is constantly teaching its robots new useful tasks so that the robots become more and more capable. Not surprisingly, Deep Robotics, a company that traditionally specializes in four-legged robots for entertainment and industrial applications, it has also taken on the task of developing its humanoids. So far, the prototype does not look particularly capable, but the development of technology in China is at such a level nowadays that soon it will most likely begin to walk on its own and pull rabbits out of a hat or something. The only thing left to do then is to build an AI that will make it the smartest tool in the shed. Unfortunately, Tesla's Optimus was a mere statistic at the exhibition. They didn't even let it out to play. Unlike other humanoid robots at WRC 2024, each of these machines is built for a new society where smarty pants like this do the hard work or care for lonely elderly people. Which is why robotic exoskeletons were on display designed to help low mobility people walk independently. There was also a robotic walker from Lynx Dynamics, not to confuse with the walker robot. It's a framework for any bipedal robot in the future, since it'll already be incredibly stable in advance. The audience was entertained by a robot tennis player that just doesn't lose. And then there were small robots playing soccer. Slowly thus far, the developers have been trying for years to increase their speed and agility. And of course, there was a robot chef. It made sure that the guests at the exhibition got their insulin kick and prepped a ton of appetizing pancakes. This is the gist and there's more, but we're out of time. So let us know in the comments what your favorite exhibit was from WRC24. Subscribe to our channel and check out our Instagram for more from the world of high tech.